In this video, we're going to talk about how we measure the distance using standard candles. This is the most common method of measuring a distance, which is using something of known luminosity, where you measure the flux and use the inverse square law to work out how far away it is. There are many examples of this. There's main sequence fitting. There's Cepheid variables. The Tully-Fisher relation. Type 1a supernovae. And the tip of the red giant branch. But basically they all work the same way. So we can cover them all in one worked example. In all these cases, you start off with a calibrator set. So for example, for most of these, it's the large Magellanic clouds. Let's use Cepheid variables as our example, but the method applies to everything else. In your calibrator galaxy or calibrator star cluster or whatever it is you're using to calibrate things, you know the distance to it and you have some measurable variable. In the case of Cepheids, it's the pulse period. In the case of type 1a supernovae, it's how long it stays bright. For main sequence fitting, it's the color. And what you find is the flux you observe correlates in some way with what you're measuring. It might go up, it might go down, it might curve around. Now then you have another, in this case Cepheid variable or more Cepheid variables in some other galaxy and what you find is the fluxes from them are smaller which indicates that, that other galaxy is further away or it could be a supernova in a distant galaxy or a different galaxy. So what you do is you fit the properties of the Cepheid variables in the other galaxy and you compare them to what you see in your nearby calibrator galaxy and what you find is a particular ratio of fluxes. So let's say this is flux at your calibrator and this is flux of the distant object and what you should find is the ratio is fairly constant. And that's all you need to know. So the distance to your distant object is just going to be the distance to the calibrator which you have to know from some other method times the square root of the flux of the calibrator over the flux of the distant object, which is the ratio of these fluxes to these fluxes. You can measure it from just one object, so you could say here's a Cepheid with a given period up there, or you can fit a line to a whole series of these things and find the average ratio all over. And that gives you the distance, and it applies to all these different techniques.